Hello everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. I'm Steve and today I'm going to do an overview on this Rosewell monitor dual swivel arm dual monitor mount. Here's a quick look at the box. Um, you will notice that they actually give you a diagram here so you can tell exactly what you're dealing with, which is a dual monitor mount system with a C-clamp at the bottom. I'm going to flip to the back to show you that. And I'm just going to drop down to the very bottom here. It fits a 27-inch Apple LED cinema display or 24-inch iMac with, uh, and, and other VESA monitors. Specifically, VESA MISD uh, with mounting patterns of 75 by 75 or 100 by 100 millimeter uh, mount patterns. As well as that C-clamp at the bottom, you're going to be able to connect it to a, a table that's between 20 millimeters to 60 millimeters in thickness. So just double check the table you intend on using this with uh, just to make sure that it's going to work properly. Let me open the box and show you a little bit more. Okay, so here's everything that comes inside the box. Uh, lots of different things here. I'm going to go through them one at a time. Uh, starting on my left, we have the four swivel arms. And these particular swivel arms actually connect together on the top. I'll show you uh, one of them here. Uh, aluminum in, in uh, construction, uh, very light, also feels very sturdy. A uh, little clip here at the top that would snap into place once I lock in one of the other swivel arms here, just like so. And so the device would have two of these, and they would attach to this. Uh, unless you wanted to go single arm, you actually don't need to use this if you end up only needing it for one and later on you want to upgrade to something else, you would still be able to use this and it would work the exact same way. Just slide it in place, uh, then assemble the other swivel arm, do the exact same thing onto this uh, dual arm neck. Then it would attach itself, or you would attach it, excuse me, to uh, the actual clamp itself, the actual C-clamp. This part would be attached to the desk here. Uh, it does come with a small pad to protect your desk from being damaged. It also has a little bit of an adhesive to keep it there. Uh, now, the rest of the neck uh, also has a small hole for the a little holder, I should say, a little loop of plastic to hold the Allen wrench that you'd need to adjust uh, each one of these particular, uh, almost like a C-lock. Uh, and each one of those are on the ends of every one of these of the, let me see if I can flip around here, on the swivel arms themselves. You can see this little black dot here. Uh, that's how you would tighten it into place so it just doesn't swivel all over the place. Super easy the way it is right now. Uh, small plastic hook here for cable management. I'll kind of turn it so you can see. So the cables would come down from the neck here. Uh, and carry the wires from both directions onto your desk. Now, the monitors themselves uh, would attach to these, and uh, these particular uh, mounts here are, well, let me show you the one without the, the plastic clips on the end. Uh, this would be used for the standard uh, 75 by 75 or 100 by 100 millimeter uh, VESA mount. Uh, for a standard monitor. Uh, this one is set up right now using the, the four plastic clips for the uh, Apple version, the Apple LED Cinema display stand. And there are several components in here that are meant to utilize uh, that particular monitor because it doesn't fit the same way as a typical monitor would. And I'll just walk that, uh, that process through for you. This particular flange would attach to the back of the monitor and uh, sort of like this actually and then you would screw through these two holes onto the back of the monitor and these would actually protect the back of the monitor from being scratched up and damaged. Uh, now the way you would get access to that flange is by using uh, one of these. This is an access card that actually slides into the back of the display's um, uh, stand and removes it at the point of connection. Uh, then you would have to uh, screw in this particular device or this fits in where, where the stand used to be, then you would screw in with these two screws to the back of this. Now there's a couple tools you need to have. Uh, one of them is this, uh, this Torx uh, wrench. Uh, it's a, I believe it's a four millimeter. Actually, it doesn't say specifics. But you also need to have a hex tool, uh, the four millimeter, as well as an M3 wrench. Uh, now, these all come inside the box for you, uh, and there's doubles of, of everything here that I just showed you. So, the whole other bag of them for the other mount. And four screws, of course, to attach it if you had a standard VESA mount, total of eight if you count for both, uh, for both monitor stands. I should also mention that the uh, neck here where it actually attaches. It's a small ball joint that's very tightly clamped in there. Even though you can see there's a lot of gap here, uh, they, it's very hard for me to move, so I know this is going to be able to withstand the weight of a monitor without, without moving itself very easily. So let me put this all together and show you what it looks like with some monitors on it. 
Okay, here we have the monitor stand all put together. Before I go any further forward, I do want to mention one last thing I did forget before, which is that it does come with a manual. And inside you'll see all the important instructions on how to do what I've already done, uh, as well as uh, other specifications, uh, which I'll go over now. So let me go ahead and show you what else uh, we can do with these monitors now that they're actually set up. Uh, I'll open it up so you can actually see the arms themselves, uh, that they can fully extend here. Uh, the extension length is a total of 400 millimeters from the middle here out, uh, as well as, let me see if I can crinkle it up and show you here when it's completely collapsed. Uh, not that you'd ever do that because these two would be side by side, something like this, but I digress. So here at the neck, I wanted to show you that it does have a tilt of 105 degrees. And it also has a pivot of, well, any, the only thing that's stopping this thing from, from uh, panning, pivoting, or swiveling 360 degrees is the monitor itself. Because every single part of this particular uh, swivel arm setup can just keep spinning. So uh, that aside, uh, it also has a zero degree angle, which uh, basically means I can't turn it inside of this neck. I can't turn it left and right. So it can swivel essentially get what you need, but it can't be angled inside of it to exactly whichever length you want it to be at or angle you want it to be at, as well as the vertical angle. This only goes in uh, degrees around on this plane of axes, not, uh, not this plane. So you won't be able to raise it up or lower it down, anything else, other than at the neck here, where you actually can get a lift of up to 200 millimeters by using this Allen wrench and loosening up the neck lowering it down a little bit more. There's also two screws in the back of this. You can also lower it down with that just to get the, the right height of the monitor off the desk to exactly what you need it to be. I do want to mention one last thing. Uh, the pull weight or the pull maximum load that can be, can be burdened on this particular device is a total of uh, 20 kilograms or uh, 44 pounds. Okay, everybody, that wraps up this overview of Rosewell's Monitor Dual Swivel Arm. If you like this video and you want more like it, go ahead and click the like button. If you haven't already done so, click subscribe, and we'll see you soon.